While ventilating a panelized roof with the pullback method, the sounding firefighters will find purlins and move out accordingly. The ventilation team leader will identify a main structural member and give a notification to the sawyers where to begin their cuts. Sawyer number one, or the saw farthest from the ladder, will make the first bat cut. Remember to stay at least six inches off of the purlin to avoid damage to the blade. Sawyer number one will reach out and begin his head cut. Sawyer number two will follow about half a cut sequence behind. Both sawyers will then reach out and make a V cut, creating a small V type hole that will allow the sounding firefighters to use their tools to pull the panel back. Once the sounding firefighters have a hold of the panel, the sawyers will continue down the purlin cutting through structural members. The success of the pullback will rely on finding the seams in the plywood. The first pullback section may or may not be full size. It is strictly to identify the seams of the plywood. Each subsequent pullback should be 4 feet. If the panel is covered with heavy sheeting or roofing material, relief cuts may be necessary. To make a relief cut, the sawyers will reach across and just cut thinly through the roofing material. This will release the panel, allowing it to be pulled back and folded over and moved out of the way. It's important that the sounding firefighters grab the rafter for each subsequent pullback. The sawyers will then move into place, again following the purlin, cutting through structural members. As the sawyers cut, the sounding firefighters will hold tension on the panel. Occasionally, the panel may give way. If not, relief cuts will be made. Once a relief cut is made, the panel is easily pulled back and folded, and it will be moved away for continued operation. 